My name is Bob Sutor. I work at IBM Research, and I'm the Vice President for Quantum Computing Strategy and Ecosystem, that is IBM Q. Quantum computing uses a radically new type of computing, really from the ground up, that we hope will be able to solve some problems that will be completely intractable for classical computers, like your laptop and your smartphone. We're sitting here today in IBM Research Headquarters. We have more quantum computers here than the entire rest of the world combined. We really run the gamut from worrying about the fundamental science and engineering of the chip to thinking about the best way these integrated systems will work with clients and the workflows they have today. The most essential part of the quantum computer, the chip, is maybe one thousandth or one ten thousandth the size of everything else that you have to build. There's the enclosure, there's the refrigeration, there's the quality of the electronics, there's how you make it available on the internet. Quantum computers are extremely sensitive and are prone to interference of, of really any sort of type. If I were to raise the temperature too much, or even if I were just to shake it, it would affect the electronics feeding into the chip itself and cause a little bit of instability in how we program those devices. We don't just think about one quantum computer in isolation. What would it look like to put a series of quantum computers into what used to be called the data center, but I'll call it quantum computation center. How do we make those quantum computers work together with the systems they already have, or maybe using on the cloud as well? So what we're announcing today is an integrated system that is state of the art in every way regarding its infrastructure, in terms of the quality of the chip, which is a fourth generation 20 qubit chip, the quality of the electronics, the quality of the refrigeration, and the way it could possibly integrate into a future quantum computation center. When you approach this quantum computer, first you see this very large, elegant, nine foot by nine foot glass. You see the actual quantum computer, the cryostat, in the middle. Inside there, it gets extremely cold and we bring it down close to absolute zero. When you put a quantum computer out on, let's say, the cloud, you want consistency. And consistency goes from the chip, but all the way up to the environment in which the quantum computer is held. 